Okay, so this is uh, the boiling point windows frame version, right? Um, this was a project that I did for I did with two of my friends for the game development competition at Holy University. Um, so yeah, so this is the ported app that I've uh, been working on for quite a while. So originally it was made for a computer, so like a, a Microsoft PC. Uh, and then we, then I took it upon myself to port it over during the summer so that we could put it out in the marketplace. So our um, team name was Xlay on the X Lay. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is the about page. I mean, um, about menu, uh, which uh, the buttons don't actually work yet because I've not done those two pages. Um, I've not moved this hyperlink button so it is where it should be over here somewhere and it doesn't have a purple background because the hyperlink doesn't actually work. So uh, that was kind of the more important part. I'm not sure why it won't work uh, but I'll fix that at some point. Um, I would tried two different ways to do this uh, and neither of them wanted to work for me. So yeah, that's the main menu of that. Oh crap. Okay, that's brilliant. I'll just click there. Uh, um, yeah, that was our, that was the uh, icon, by the way, which is the same as the play button. I haven't found a name in the book. So, yeah, go back. All right. Okay, so uh, here's the sex page, which it's not done yet. <laughs> um, I haven't got my flags in yet for the sound effects, or I also want to had, have a possibly both codes for accelerometer, um, user control and touch user control. So I'll probably have a on switch for those two. Um, and then if I have any background music I will have a turn on off background music etc. Okay, uh, so yeah that's the second page which isn't finished. There's the high school page which also isn't finished because I've never used Link before and I haven't started working on that because I still need to fix up the user control. Right, um, so all the additions have been done on the uh, main platform uh, but some of the user controls haven't changed over so all the logic works um, but I haven't finished adding user control yet. This is kind of just a preliminary video. <laughs> Um, right, okay, so here's the plane, which is what you fly, so it's a paper plane because we got lumbered, well, we picked aircraft and then we got lumbered with sticky tape and kettle, and a regular aircraft, I don't know how you could spin it where it would work with sticky tape and kettle, so the idea was that the plane, we started off with this idea based around kit and cannon, if you want to google that. Um, which is where you basically fire a plane and see how far you can make it go. Um, so obviously the higher power you got, uh, the faster the kettles would spawn, so the steam pushes you up, that keeps you going. Um, the faster the tape spawns, so the tape gives you more health because steam decreases your health but increases your power. Um, so yeah, it was there was no actual user control, um, and I wanted to change that because I wouldn't really want to download a phone game with no user control. Right. Anyway, so uh, this is kind of your status bar thing. Um, so here's your tape represented by sticky tape. I mean, here's your health represented by sticky tape, um, because I think the way we were spinning it was that sticky tape waterproofs the plane. So, if you don't have enough sticky tape, then your plane falls apart or something. Um, I haven't got any graphics to show it falling apart, unfortunately, because that would require a lot of work. <laughs> um, right, anyway, so uh, these two, what happens is, these are the additions I put in to make it more interesting. Um, so, what happens is, uh, a floating ob two, these are two floating objects, so a straw comes past, uh, and just kind of spins around and spins around, so you have to kind of pick that up. Um, so then, if you picked up a gun, then that will change to red, um, and you'll be able to pick up ammo, which are spitballs because that's a straw. Um, 
I, I wanted to put in a nerf gun, I'll be honest, but I uh, didn't think you could really get away with attaching that to a paper airplane. Right, okay, um, so if you tap up, then it'll rotate up, um, but it only goes to about four, I think. Um, tapping down isn't serious today. <laughs> Come on, that's an embarrassment. Um, right, okay, come on. <laughs> um, okay, that's broken. Brilliant. Um, I wonder when that happens. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that, I'll fix that later. Right, anyway, so, uh, here's the power which goes up and down. So, when you tap that, then it'll release. Um, I will change the graphics over for in game display. Um, so, yeah, the user control isn't done yet. Uh, I have it all imported in keyboard style. Um, but obviously, you don't have a keyboard on a phone, so you can't actually change anything that's going on here. Um, so, yeah, as I say, I'm going to put in touch input as well as accelerometer. Um, I'm not sure how far this plane's going to go because uh, there's no control, so. Um, Normally, so when the control comes in, then uh, they'll obviously you'll be able to tilt it up so that you can get um, a higher speed and t I mean a higher position and tilt it down so you can get a lower position. Um, anyway, that little plane that came in, this guy, um, that's kind of it's kind of half AI. Um, it's like the position route changes randomly every three seconds. I mean, the direction he's travelling changes randomly every three seconds. So it goes up and down the screen, just kind of bob bobbing around. Um, so if you collect a gun and collect ammo, then and then fire it at him, um, then he gets angry and decides to fire his own laser bullets at you, which are pretty cool. I I quite like the laser bullets. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is your hit count for how many times you shot him, um, and that's the injuries he gave you, which obviously they're both zero because you couldn't collect any ammo because you couldn't really control where you were going. Um, so yeah, that's the amount of points you got, which amount of points uh, increases by however how fast you're going. So um, if you tilt the phone to the right what I'm thinking is uh, it speeds up and if you tilt it to the left it slows down um, and then when you want to shoot you tap either side of the plane so if you want to shoot in the left direction then tap to the left, to the back of the plane if you want to shoot to the right tap to the front of the plane um, so yeah I think that's covered all bases um, so that kind of shows brief overview of what I've done so far and obviously shows the <laughs> Loopholes and when I design it. I'm just going to try and try that tab thing again because it was working before, but occasionally it decides no. So, yeah, so that's how it should work. Um, it, I don't know really what happened there, which is always embarrassing. Um, it's probably something to do with the rotated pictures. Uh, okay, so I think that's covered everything. Um, should be done within a few weeks. So look out for it. Thanks a lot. Bye.